helpful scene. No right? pun intended there, Matt. <laughs> but it can become dangerous, right, with the added weight and the falling yes. icicles. So hopefully always, things clear out soon. Always things that you need to kind of keep yeah. in the back of your mind, even though it, yeah, it might look a little bit nice. You have that kind of cool kind of uh, structure with all the ice crystals. And yeah, it looks kind of nice, but definitely can be problematic. And I think that those folks up there in upstate New York wish that they could have a sunrise like this one and start to melt some of that ice and melt some of that snow that they just got hammered with at the end of last week and through at least the first half of the weekend as well. Really looking absolutely gorgeous down at the shore this morning. Of course, this our Cape May neighborhood network camera. Overall, we ended the month of February on a bit of a downturn. Early last week, we had temperatures right around 60 degrees, but you see then we slowly dipped back down into the 40s and even Yesterday, we ended the month with a high of only 35, so we started the month out with really far above average temperatures, and then we actually ended things on Friday and Saturday back below average, giving us a total of six days only that came in below normal. Take a look at what we're expecting, though, for the month of March. It, of course, starts today. Typically, we have high temperatures that average in the mid to upper 40s for the start of the month, but by March 31st, we're talking about temperatures that average right around 58 degrees, so almost 60 degrees for that average high by March 31st. Now, we do still get some snow in March, even though we see spring that will officially start in just about 18 days. 2000 was the last time we had no snow in the month of March. So that 3.8 inches that we average is something that we'll continue to keep an eye out for, even though this winter has been very sparse with the snow activity. It's not totally ruled out that we could get a couple of flakes in the month of March. And we actually have our first 70 degree day on average in the month of March as well. Typically happens right around March 20th and we usually see about two days in the 70s here in Philly throughout the month as well. So hopefully we'll see those nice warm temperatures. I know that even though I like winter, it's starting to get to that point where I'm ready to turn the page to more spring like conditions as well. A couple of flurries maybe in some of those far northern areas this morning. Generally speaking, though, high pressure in control from the Midwest all the way across the south and the eastern seaboard too. high temperatures today. We're starting to warm in Philly, even though it's still a little bit breezy, 45 degrees the afternoon high for this Sunday down the shore. Lots of sunshine, breezy. And 42 talking about 30s with again generally sun filled skies up at the Poconos to here this morning again maybe a flurry or two but that's really all we're talking about when it comes to precipitation after the 40s today we jump it back up into the 60s here they come Monday Tuesday and Wednesday tomorrow it looks like it's dry maybe some increasing clouds by Tuesday a few scattered showers through the afternoon but still looking nice temperature wise and then we're looking at more 60s on Wednesday Jan we could Start to cool it back down, though, maybe a little bit by Friday in the coming weekend. But overall, not a bad start to the month. I would say so. Okay, Matt, thank you. 645 now.